Catalytic converters are designed to last the life of the vehicle and have the important function of removing toxic compounds like carbon monoxide, oxides of nitrogen and unburnt hydrocarbons from the exhaust gases. However, they cost a ton of money to replace which is why catalyst codes like P0420 or P0430 are usually dreaded by those who know what these codes mean. Today I'll be talking about common mistakes that car owners make and things you need to avoid or fix quickly if you want to prevent your catalytic converter from getting damaged. Now let's get this. A damaged catalytic converter would lead to clogging and reduced engine performance from the excessive backflow and exhaust restriction. It will notably cause poor acceleration and a general lack of power especially while trying to ascend an incline. The restriction of exhaust flow can lead to excessive buildup of heat in the catalytic converter which can cause the car to overheat. Yep. A blocked catalytic converter can definitely make a car overheat. Here are six things that will give you catalyst codes and eventually damage the catalytic converter if they are not addressed or nothing is done. Number one, running rich or having codes like P0172 or P0175. While the ECU can adjust other engine parameters to cope with a rich mixture, beyond a certain threshold, the P0172 and or P0175 codes will be set. If you have this code or you have a flashing check engine light, it simply means that unburned fuel is making its way into the cat. This will raise the operating temperature of the catalytic converter beyond its design limits and lead to the melting of the substrate. Misfires whether from worn spark plugs, ignition coils, etc., leaky fuel injectors, defective fuel pressure regulator, clogged air cleaner element, dirty or faulty MAF or MAP sensor will all lead to the engine running rich. This should all be repaired as soon as possible to prevent your catalytic converter from getting damaged. Number two exhaust leaks especially pre-catalytic converter exhaust leaks you know how blowing on hot coals makes it burn better because of the increased oxygen this is exactly what happens with pre-cat exhaust leaks the oxygen that gets sucked in from the exhaust leak will improve oxygenation in the catalytic converter thereby leading to higher temperatures and similar to what i've said before will lead to melting of the catalytic converter number three defective or oxygen sensor problems codes like the p0135 or p0138 require immediate attention to prevent deterioration of the catalytic converter. A failing or broken O2 sensor usually causes increased gas mileage and upsets the air fuel mixture to run rich. I chose to address the oxygen sensor issue in a class of its own since a lot of people ignore oxygen sensor codes and this ends up hurting the catalytic converter. Number four, contamination or poisoning of the catalytic converter. Certain elements can block the active site of the catalyst that you have in the catalytic converter. This will lead to a reduction in the efficiency of the cat. Common sources of contamination include coolant leaks from a worn or burnt head gasket, having an engine that burns oil, using leaded fuel, as well as using fuel additives that may contain chemicals that are catalyst poisons. This is why it's important when choosing fuel additives to make sure that it states that it's catalytic converter safe. All this is to say that you should fix a worn head gasket as soon as possible. Replace or clean PCV valves on a schedule, especially when they are stock open. This will lead to oil making its way into the combustion chamber. Number 5. Thermal shock. Catalytic converters operate at a very high temperature and given that they are enclosed in a metal case, driving through deep water can cause thermal shock which will make the metal contract suddenly and damage the honeycomb structure of the catalytic converter. This will result in breakage or disintegration of the cat. As a rule of thumb, as much as possible, avoid driving through deep water. Number 6. Physical damage from driving over high bumps or other similar obstructions to motorists. Just as the last point, this can damage the ceramic honeycomb structure of the catalytic converter and lead to degradation of function. Taking note of these six things and taking appropriate action can help prolong the life of the catalytic converter and save you expensive repairs. Hope this has been helpful. Catch you on the next one. Peace!